On the November ballot, Portland area voters will find two measures attempting to address the area's housing crisis. And Fox 12 Simon Gutierrez takes a closer look at what impact those measures might have and how much it might cost taxpayers. If approved by voters, Measure 102 and Measure 26199 would work together to increase the area's supply of affordable housing. They're going to significantly increase the pace at which affordable housing is developed in our region. Dan Valer is CEO of Reach Community Development, a nonprofit that has developed more than 2,000 units of affordable housing in Portland and Clark County. He supports Measure 102, which changes the state constitution to allow local governments to use bond money to partner with private businesses and nonprofits to build affordable housing. A private entity like a nonprofit, which has a mission to do it, could borrow money from a bank or from another private source and combine that with the public bonding. Or we could go for federal tax credits, low-income housing tax credits. And he says that would maximize the impact of Measure 26199, the Metro bond that would generate more than $650 million to build affordable housing, which would be paid for by an increase in property taxes. Metro estimates it would cost the average homeowner about $5 a month. The actual amount um, that we all are being asked to pay is very modest compared to the return, right? The cost of homelessness, the cost of uh, housing instability right now is actually quite large. But opponents of the bond measure say Metro's estimate is just that, and that the actual cost to taxpayers of building the affordable housing will vary depending on interest rates. Opponents estimate repaying the bond plus interest could create more than $1 billion in new property taxes, and that Metro has no experience building affordable housing. But Valer says the number of people struggling with housing instability are worth the investment. A lot of people are either unhoused or paying way more than a third of their income in rent. By that estimate, it's almost probably 48,000 households that are in need of affordable housing. Simon Gutierrez, Fox 12 Oregon.